how do we overcome this resistance? I mean, how do we uh, change the mentality and how do we create a right mindset for change within the insurance companies? As I said, my mission personally is to make insurance lovable, whether you're inside the business or outside the business. My co-host on the podcast, Sarah, always talks about, you know, we've got self-driving cars and drones. It is an amazing industry. We have to keep attracting the right new talent into the organization, number one. Um, number two, back to your point about ecosystems, ecosystems exist in so many different ways. So I think having seen 30 plus billion dollars invested in the insurtech community, having seen four and a half thousand plus insurtechs all identify a problem area and all say, we've got a quicker, faster, smarter way of doing it. Um, that alliance, that partnership between external minds and internal minds and bringing them together is really important. Um, just yesterday, actually, there was a, a fintech pledge where people were all signing up to, we will provide fast, easy access for external companies to work with us internally and make sure you get a quick no or a quick yes. Because one of the things that will kill innovation and vision and everything else is taking nine months to get to a decision. Yeah. Right? So speed, um, it, it's all... I don't like the phrase, think like a startup or act like a startup, because frankly, you can't do that if you're a 300-year-old organization that's, that's got certain things that we have to do. But by, by, by bringing engineering and business together in one um, cohesive pot with ambition and permission, we then start to create the opportunity to do things and then, just, then decide, are we solving um, the evolutionary problem? Are we making better models for what we've always done? Or are we going to completely reimagine it? So I think just clarity of all of those things brought together will allow us to start changing those things one by one. I'm a cyclist, for people that don't know. I'm, I'm an a amateur cyclist. And there's this whole concept of marginal gains that you've seen. And I love it because if you break it all down, improve it by 1%, 2%, 30%, 30%, um, and build it all back up again, it's ultimately better. But what if we just said, let's go for our, what's our 10x? What's our completely different way of doing it? You know, are we looking for incremental improvements back to how we measure things previously or are we looking for exponential improvements? And that's a decision only uh, the teams and the board and, and, and everyone else can decide on.